In today's video, we're going to be exploring the depths of Roblox scripting. And basically what I mean by the depths of Roblox scripting, I'm covering functions that you don't really see every day and they're kind of unknown to most people. So getting right on into it, inserting a script, the first one I would like to cover is underscore, uh, something called underscore G. So I'm making it so you guys can see this. When I put an underscore, there is underscore G. And basically what underscore G is, is it is a global table basically where we can add functions and variables to this global table. Now this is an older function. I'm pretty sure it was before the time of module scripts. So keep that in mind as well. It's an older function, basically a module script, um, but it's just older. So, you know, I'm still gonna show you guys what it does. Okay, so let me add a variable. Let me say global. And this global number will be equal to 100. You know, this is a global a number. If we made a local uh, number, you know, it'd just be local number and whatever, whatnot. But now we have added the number 100 uh, to the variable global in this global table. All right, so I'm going to insert another script. I'm going to make it wait one second just to make sure the value is set. And then I'm going to print uh, access the underscore G global table. And then I'm going to say dot global to access that variable. Also, if I didn't mention, I'm printing it so we can see it in the output. Go ahead and run your game and we will see that it printed 100. So we were able to get this global variable defined in here from different scripts and it's like that uh, for any scripts uh, we can just access it from this global table. And as I said earlier we can also add functions to this. So I'm going to make a, a function called just print uh, capital P print and we're just going to print uh, working just to show that it is working so print working and then down here I'm going to add it to our global table so underscore G dot uh, global global prints will work will be equal to the print function all right so then from another script we can then I'm, I'm gonna wait one second and back to this print I'm gonna say uh, we're going to print underscore G dot uh, print and this should work or right, wait a minute guys uh, this won't work because in this script I said global print and I just put print so we need to actually say global print and one more thing guys we actually need to call this to actually make it work because if we just put in global print it'll just give us like a function type thing so we actually need to call it uh, so that we see the print so we are going to open up our output and then we're going to click run and we will see it says print working so we added a function to this global table uh, variables and functions and everything works so that's what underscore G is the next thing we're going to be going over is underscore version so if we had that underscore we see uh, we have underscore G and we also have underscore version and basically what this gives us is the how do I explain it? like the Lua interpreter basically that uh, your studio is running on so if we were to print this uh, underscore version it would give us Lu Luau now I think before Roblox switched it to uh, this because of type checking it would give you like Lua 5.3 5.2 interpreter type of stuff like Lua versions but this just give us gives us a uh, this and so I don't really know any use cases for a version, uh, but that's just basically what it does. It gives you the Lua interpreter, pretty much. And so the next thing we have is GC info. And so basically what this means is this stands for garbage collection info, information. And this gives us uh, information about Lua's garbage collector and it returns us two values the total memory in kilobytes currently being used by the garbage collector and it also gives us the current amount of memory in kilobytes also that the garbage collector uh, is could use before it triggers the garbage collection cycle 
If you don't know what the garbage collection cycle is, well, it basically cleans up unnecessary memory that we are no longer using so that it optimizes our game better. So, as I said, it returns us two things. So, I'm going to say local used memory, comma, uh, memory limit. We'll be good to our info here and then we are going to print used memory and uh, memory limit yeah like just like that so I've put this in a loop um, that basically it runs every one second and this is what it gives us it says 84 nil and then a whole bunch of 88 nils uh, this might change if you have like because this is just a regular base plate right and I think this would change a lot more if you actually had a you know an actual game and I'm not for sure why it keeps repeating nil I'm not really sure it's another I think function that not very many people use and but you know we still have it. it's just kinda random but it's basically what it does now this one is deprecated and it doesn't really make much sense and that is print identity from what I can get from this is it prints like the objects like security level basically or basically like the rank it has in its game for the security or something like that because if I put in game.workspace.baseplay and we ran this it gives us null 2 which I think this null nil thing is like telling us that it's deprecated but it also gives us 2 and I don't really know like that's the identity is 2 like the level of security I don't really know print identity doesn't really make much sense and there's not a whole lot of information I can get on it so this is the best I can do because I can't really find anywhere where it ex explains print identity because it is deprecated and old the next thing we have is secret so if you type in secret there's this like data type type thing it's in the color blue and we can you can see here we get secrets and basically what secret is it's a data type and secret is basically uh, what you get from calling the HTTP service get secret function um, it can't be printed or anything like that uh, but you can modify it I have like a code thing on screen that deals with website stuff and HTTP service um, and if we look at that function get secret uh, let me see here get secret it says this method returns a value previously added to the secret store for experience uh, secret content is not printable and for security reasons secrets are not available when the experience runs locally so I think secret is equal to whatever you get from this function or something um, it doesn't again this one doesn't really make much sense but it says it returned the value previously added to the secret store for experience and uh, from what I've seen before secret also allows us to store like API keys and all that type of stuff so, like website I guess you know <laughs> it's another one of those that doesn't really make too much sense but I guess it's still there and I believe they also talked about a uh, secret at RDC last year and I think they said something about how it's like for also storing API keys and there's also like security issues with putting keys and sensitive information directly in the code source. That's why there's something with the secret that helps with that and all the information types. So I guess that's why it's called secret. And the last one I'm going to give you guys is collect garbage. It is a deprecated function. But collect garbage is basically our way of manually calling the garbage collector in Roblox Lua. Uh, to clean up memory now it's deprecated so probably shouldn't use it and you probably shouldn't be able to manly manually connect collect the garbage um, but this says function used to mainly trigger the garbage collector and the garbage collector in Roblox is for um, getting memory back that is no longer in use so it prevents the collect the garbage collector uh, basically prevents memory leaks and well not all of them but cleans up garbage and basically memory when it's no longer in use now I probably wouldn't use it because it's deprecated so there must be something wrong with it or Roblox doesn't want us using it and just letting the garbage collector do its own thing it but we can still use it I mean I guess it's still here and if you guys want to know about it then there you guys go
And yeah guys, this was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.